North Korea's COVID-19 outbreak rose to nearly 2 million as of Thursday, exactly a week after the Hermit Kingdom admitted its first-ever case. The mystery nation, which until last week dubiously claimed to have fully escaped COVID for two and a half years, confirmed 262,270 more cases on Thursday. The number rose to more than 1.98 million with fever, the official Korean Central News Agency said. But experts believe the number is likely to be far higher given the isolated nation's lack of testing capabilities, and the death toll is also likely to skyrocket due to a lack of essential medical supplies and intensive care units. The outbreak began in late April and spread after despot Kim Jong-un oversaw a huge parade celebrating his state-founding grandfather's 110th birthday, South Korea's new CIS news agency said, citing lawmakers briefed by Seoul spy agency at least 740,160 people are. Also in quarantine, the agency said, with images showing health workers in hazmat suits guarding Pyongyang's cordoned off streets disinfecting buildings and roads and delivering food and other supplies to apartment blocks. Despite the surge in cases, the kingdom's antivirus headquarters reported just one additional death, bringing the death toll to just 63, an unusually low number compared to suspected infections, experts have noted. Key Park, a global health expert at Harvard Medical School who has worked on health projects in North Korea, has predicted tens of thousands could eventually die. Authoritarian leader Kim has described the outbreak as a major upheaval and berated officials for allowing the virus to spread and restricting the movement of people and supplies between cities and regions.